Hey guys, it's Amish with Property Talks. I hope you found the last few videos useful on things to look for when you're viewing a property or questions to ask an agent. Um, now, I guess it all comes down to negotiating on price. Firstly, when I go to an agent or when I go to viewings, I've got an Excel with a table that has all my comparables. So I know that property X is bigger with two bathrooms, whereas this one is smaller and therefore there's a difference in price. Um, and that could be size, that could be number of bathrooms, that could be condition, that could be proximity to station, all of these factors um, I used to evaluate against other properties and then I'll go back to the agent and I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm gonna offer you X percent lower or X amount lower than the asking price because that's what some people do. That's, that's not credible. What I'll do is I'll say, based on my research, based on X, Y, Z information, I think this is worth Y and I've been in that situation, the agent has agreed with me and supported my judgment and therefore he's gone back to the vendor and said, actually, do you know what? I think the price is overstated. Um, hopefully this gives you some leeway to negotiate um, and you'll also look more credible. Perception is key um, and the agent is representing you to the vendor. So when you've got your comparisons here, that's one aspect. That's what you think, that's what you're determining the market value to be. But then work backwards and work out how much money that's gonna make you. So that's gonna be the most you're prepared to pay for it and then compare the two. That might be considerably lower than the market price or the listed price and that's okay. That's when you have that discussion with the agent or the vendor, whoever it is, and work um, and try and meet, meet somewhere where you're comfortable. So the price that it's listed for is not always relevant, right? You need to make sure that you're comfortable with what, one, your research price and two, the price that makes it work for your financials. As an example, the listed price, um, one of the properties I was looking at, it's not, it's been there for six months and they're, they're still keeping it overpriced. Agents are always gonna try and like blag it about how it's worth X amount, but that's where you have to show with evidence that no, I don't think it's worth that much, or that's all I'm gonna, uh, that's how much I'm prepared to pay. Um, and it's okay to have an ultimatum on your price and then walk away because regardless of how much you love the property, right, you need to make sure your numbers stack up. So you can also try and find out how motivated the seller is. Check how long it's been listed on Rightwoo Zoopla. If it's been there for a period of time, find out how much, um, how open they are to offers. And that's where the famous line comes in. Look, I don't want to waste your time. I'm sure you don't want to waste mine. Drop that in. Hopefully um, the agent will support you in sharing some information about if there have been any offers and gives you an idea of what the vendor is looking to accept. Cool, I hope you found that useful. Like, comment, post, share, subscribe, whatever you wanna do, and tune into the next video. Peace.